Spider Tool Holster was kind enough to send me a few products for me to use in my shop. Now they did not ask me to make a video in return for the product. However, I thought I'd share my opinions on one item in particular. Enjoy. The tape measure set includes one holster and two tool tabs as you can see here. I'll dive more into the holster later on. Now there are instructions on the back so you want to make sure you read those before you start. You know, let's just get right into it. Let's put a tool tab on one of my favorite tape measures. I started off by removing the belt clip from the tape measure. Next I took some adhesive remover and removed the label off the face of the tape because that's where I wanted the tool tab to go. And don't worry, I'm not going to bore you with that process. With the label removed, I put some isopropyl alcohol on a microfiber towel and I wiped down the entire surface of the tape measure, cleaning off any residue and or dirt that was left behind from the label removal process. And I have to say, it doesn't look half bad. With the tape measure all cleaned up, I grabbed my wife's heat gun, aka hair dryer, and warmed up the tool tab and the tape measure. Then I removed the backing off the adhesive and placed the tab where I wanted it on the tape. After I worked the edges of the tool tab down, I applied some clamping force and let everything sit until it cooled down. Now I have to say that I am impressed with the build quality of the holster. It's lightweight, but it doesn't feel cheap whatsoever. Even the lever has a good feel when you go to engage it. The company told me that the material is a nylon and glass fiber blend. It makes your product quite durable, very wear and tear resistant while remaining flexible. Now I'm sure you want to see the holster in action. I think I can manage that for you. Not the most exciting demo in the world, but I hope now you understand why I placed the tool tab on the tape measure the way I did. For me, this orientation makes it easier and quicker for me to get the tape measure on and off the holster with how I plan on wearing it. Now I didn't think I'd like wearing the holster at all, but honestly, it's not that bad. I wasn't expecting much in terms of quality, let alone how nice the fit and finish is on something like this for around $15, but I was pleasantly surprised. The 3M adhesive on the back of the tool tab is quite strong, and as I mentioned before, I like that you can place the tool tab in any orientation on your tool that best suits your needs. Now I have to say that I am impressed with how well the holster held up after the few torture tests that I put it through. I kind of thought the holster would crack or shatter on impact like that tape measure did, but it didn't. I can live with the cosmetic blems on the holster as long as I can still use it. I thought this tape measure kit was kind of gimmicky when I first got it, but after using it, I really started to appreciate the value in it. I honestly don't think this kit is worth $15 though. I think you're getting a steal at $15 based solely on the quality of materials that Spider Tool Holster used. And on that note, I'm going to call this video done. If you haven't already, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any questions or comments about this video, please feel free to leave those below and I will address them when I can. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care and have a good one.